Very good morning, friends and family in Jesus. If you have your Bibles with you this morning, you can have two bookmarks, and you can put the one in uh, the Gospel of Mark chapter 4, and the other bookmark in the book of John chapter 16. So we're going to start in John chapter 16, verse 33 this morning. Listen here what Jesus says. Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. In this world you will have trouble, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Now there's three things in this this scripture, this one sentence that Jesus says, three powerful things. The first thing is, Jesus said, I have told you these things so that in me you may have peace. Friends and family, outside of Jesus Christ, the Son of God, there simply is no peace. We will always be anxious. We will always be fearful. We will always worry. We will always stress. Outside of Jesus, there is no peace. And so Jesus starts off with most probably one of the most important things that we as as humans, plain simple humans, need to focus on is if I want peace in my life, I can only find it in Jesus. And to find that peace in Jesus I have to submit to Jesus and I have to be um, bound to the, the true vine, which is Christ. I can't be separated from, from it. And so Jesus starts off with a very important thing in me that you may have peace. I've told you these things so that in me you may have peace. The second thing Jesus says In this world, you will have trouble. It's not a thing of maybe, family in Jesus. Our our Lord and our Master is, He is prophesying here. He is giving us a truth of what happens on earth. He is plain and simple saying to us, so that when it happens, that we are not surprised by it happening. He's saying here that in this world you will have troubles. doesn't say maybe. It says you will have troubles. And then the third thing that Jesus says is, but take heart, I have overcome the world. Now this last piece in the scripture family, take heart, I have overcome the world, doesn't mean that I won't have troubles in the world. It means simply going back to the first piece, that if I want peace in this world where I will have troubles, I can only find it in Jesus. You know, family, nowhere in the four Gospels does Jesus promise us that we won't have anxiety, stress, troubles. Nowhere. It's just sometimes, family, we choose, we, as humans choose, to go through those troubles alone. Because maybe there's one thing in the Word of God that we don't want to adhere to. There's one thing, two, three, seven things in the Word of God that we don't want to submit to. And so we make it difficult for ourselves. And then we must know That in every trouble that we face, Jesus is there. He promised never to leave us. Sometimes we leave him. As he teaches us in the book of John where he says that, you know, when when one of my sheep leave me, when one of my sheep wander away, I put the others safely. I'm paraphrasing now. And then I go and look for that one that has wandered away. So Jesus teaches us that he never leaves us. Even in the midst of storms that we face in our lives. Mental storms, physical health storms, 
uh, financial storms, storms in our family, in our workplace. If you go to the book of Mark chapter 4, from verse 35, listen what the Bible says there. It says, that day when evening came, he said to his disciples, let's go over to the other side. Leaving the crowd, crowd behind, they took him along just as he was in the boat. So Jesus got into a boat with the disciples to go to the other side to minister. Verse 37 says, a furious storm. A different translation says a squall. A furious squall or storm came up and the waves broke over the boat so that it was nearly swamped. Verse 38 says, Jesus' disciples woke him and said to him, Teacher, don't you care that we are drowning? You see, right there, family, right there is the display of this peace that Jesus is talking about in John 16. Jesus was peaceful. Was Jesus in the same storm the disciples were in? Yes. Was Jesus in the same boat the disciples were in? Yes. Was Jesus feeling the, the, the same as what the disciples were feeling? The, the waves and the wind and the movement of the boat? Yes. But there were two differences there in that boat that night, family. One was one of terror and, and stress and shouting and screaming. And the other one was of peace. You see, family in Jesus, there's a lot of us that are going through a storm in our lives right now, whether it is mentally, whether it is in our physical health, whether it is in our family or financial, or some of us might not have a place to live. But I can guarantee you, brother and sister in Christ, that the Bible teaches us that Jesus is in that storm with you. And if you are looking for peace, peace that cannot be found in this world, because John 16, verse 33 says, in this world we will have trouble. So if you are looking for peace, you won't find it in this world. You won't. You might find a substance that you can swallow or inject, that will temporarily take your, your mind away from your worries and your stress, but it will bring it right back again. So in this world, if you're looking for peace, family, you won't find it. You can only find it in Jesus. And then the question is, okay, Jacques, I need that peace. What do you mean by I can only find it in Jesus, family? The book of John chapter 1 teaches us that in the beginning was the Word and the Word was with God and the Word was God. The Word meaning the Bible. The Word meaning Jesus. Jesus is the Word. Jesus is the Bible. As plain and simple as I can put it. If you are seeking the peace in Jesus you have to take your Bibles, family. You have to open it. You have to start reading it. Okay, Jacques, I want to do that. Where do I start? The Bible is this thick. Where do I find peace in the Bible? Go to the book of John. Go to the book of Matthew or Mark or Luke or John. There's four books in the middle of the Bible. You can start off there. Look for your peace there, family. In Jesus' name, stop trying to look for peace in this world. You won't find it. Stop trying to run to people to help you find that peace that you need in your heart or in your mind. You simply will not find it. I'm telling you a truth tonight, brother and sister in Jesus. There is no human on this earth that can give you the peace you need today. There is no human. There's no psychologist. There's no pastor. 
There's, there's no preacher, teacher, evangelist, prophet. There isn't, family. I know there isn't. Because Jesus says in John 16, 33, that in me you will find peace. Only in me. Jesus says in this world you will find trouble. And so I want to call on each and every one of you tonight, family. I, I truly in Jesus' name want to call and I want to ask the Holy Spirit to gather us together and to sit us down and to be still and know who is God and what He is doing in our lives. And if you are this morning running around and you are flustered and, and you, you don't know which direction to go into. And, and you've lost something and you are continuing to lose stuff. And you need peace in your life to be able to successfully and effectively move forward. I can say this this morning to you with all confidence, family. You are only going to find that peace by sitting down taking the word of God and starting to read it for yourself. And not one sentence a day. Family, sit down and read as much as you can. Get away from the other things. Get away from the things that, 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 that's planting more stress in your life. Put the TV off, put the computer off, take your phone and put it in a cupboard. Take the Holy Word of God and start reading it, study it, meditate on it. What does it mean to meditate on the Word? The scripture that you have just read, read it over and over and over again until you can say it. How many times do we need to hear a song before we know the words to the song? I can, I can tell you how many times, family. Seven. Seven times. If you listen to a song seven times, you know those words off by heart you can sing with without seeing the words on a screen. It's the same with the Word of God. You read a scripture seven times over and over and over again. That scripture will bind to your heart and your, your spirit, your soul, your mind. And you'll be able to say it. In the beginning, maybe not the whole scripture, but the Spirit of God will enlighten the, 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 the main things in that scripture. Like this one that we read this morning. What do you remember about John 16 verse 33? In me, you will have peace. Amen. In this world, you will have troubles. But take heart, I've overcome the world. You see, family, sometimes we as humans make too many excuses why we cannot sit and study the Word of God, why we cannot pray, why we cannot move closer to the cross of Jesus and to the throne of the Father. The time of excuses is gone, family. There are terrible times lying ahead. The Bible teaches us that. And if I do not myself teach myself to draw closer to the Lord. The people around us are too busy to take us and to teach us, to take us and to feed us with the word of God. They are too busy, family. We have to stand up for ourselves now. We have to take the word of God for ourselves. We have to get into the truth of the Bible ourselves. And so, brother and sister in Christ, as we end in prayer this morning, please just know that if you are sitting in a storm, whatever storm it may be, just know that Jesus is in that same storm with you. But just know that he is the one that is peaceful. He is the one that is calm. He is the one that has got everything in the palm of his hand. If you want that peace this morning, family, it can only be found in Jesus. As the scripture teaches us, if you want peace, that peace is in me, in Jesus. Amen. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, in the name of Jesus, your son, 
This morning our prayer is, Father God, we desire that peace that you speak of. We desire to, to, to be free, Lord. We desire to not be stressful and, and anxious and, and worry anymore. We know now, we have the knowledge now, Lord, that you say to us in this world we'll have troubles, a lot of troubles. But we also have the knowledge that you have told us these things so that in you we may have peace. And so this morning, we call on the true counselor, the Holy Spirit, the advocate that has been given to us. We ask, Lord Jesus, please, that the Spirit of God will lead us in the, in the right direction to find that peace that is in you. We pray, Lord, that we will put down all excuses and that we will pick up your word and we will start seeking you and the truth in your word. We pray, Lord, and we ask all of this because you are our Savior and our King. We ask this in the name of Jesus, the Son of God. Amen. Amen and amen. Brother and sister in Jesus, um, I trust this morning that you will make the right decision, that you will stand up and that you will fight for the life that the Lord has given you. I trust this morning that the Holy Spirit has done a work in your heart, so much so that you will stand up and take hold of the word of God and start feeding yourself with that bread of life so that you can get to a point in your life where you are unstoppable, where you just want to advance and build God's kingdom, nothing else. Because family, I'm going to end this session by saying, the Bible teaches us that there are terrible times that are lying ahead. And if we are not standing next to Jesus in those terrible times, we simply will not make it, family. So I pray in Jesus' name that you will have a blessed day, a successful day, a prosperous day, and that you will seek the peace of Jesus in the Word of God today. Until we meet again tomorrow, be blessed in Jesus' name. Amen.